Hello and welcome everyone. Let's continue our examples on inverse Laplace transform. So the last example, I think it was um, anyway. So let's take another example. Inverse Laplace of one over s square plus nine s square plus nine you don't know a direct uh, inverse Laplace of that so look at this s square plus nine s square plus omega square and and the right there so if you remember last transform of sine omega t that was it that is equal to 1 over s omega over s square plus omega square so the question here is is there is just one is omega no one is not omega omega is 3 because we have omega square equal 9 so omega is 3 positive 3 because it's a square so or the square root of 9 is 3 okay so in order to get Laplace transform of that we need to put 3 right there and then divide by 3 so this is equal to 1 over 3 sine Omega is three, so three Very well. Let's take another example. Laplace. Okay. Get Laplace transform of this. S plus two. Oh, a little bit tricky, right? S square plus 16. Okay, good. We don't know a direct Laplace for this. But let's see. Let's look at the denominator first. We have S square plus 16 or S square plus omega square. Okay. We have in the denominator right there we have s so this means cosine because cosine Laplace transform of cosine omega t that is equal to s over s square plus omega square we have s but what's this plus t so let's divide this function into two terms so Laplace transform inverse Laplace could be like this s over s square plus 16 plus 2 over the same term okay because if you take it as a common factor you can get it back to what it was as long as you don't change the function then you can make anything using math then yeah, now I know this means cosine. Uh, inverse Laplace of this is cosine omega t. Omega is four square root of sixteen cosine four t plus. This is the formula of sine, so we have constant right there, and s square plus omega square, so sine also four t. But this is a constant, right? Just put it right there. But remember, hold on. I made a mistake right there. We said in Laplace transform of sine, Laplace transform of sine omega t, there is omega in the pass or the denominator. Omega over s square plus 
omega the square. Is this omega? No, it is not. It's not omega. Omega is 4. So, put 4. Then divide by 4. Like this. If you can do this from one from one uh, equation, then you can just simply take inverse Laplace for each one individual, just to make sure you do it right. So you can make like this: inverse Laplace of the first one. Okay, s over s square plus 16. Okay, that's fine. Plus inverse Laplace of the second one, 2 over s square plus 16. Okay, so all you're going to do, this is constant, you're going to remove it and put it next to Laplace, right there. Then you want to put here omega, that's it. You want to multiply and then divide. So omega is square root of 16 here. So 4, you're going to put 4, and then you're going to divide by 4. Then you got, now you have cosine 4, t, and 2 over 4 sine omega t. Very well. Very, very well. Okay. Let's take another example. Another example. Inverse Laplace of the following function. Inverse Laplace of 4s minus 2. So minus here referred to shift, okay? Not just a, a number. It refers to shift by 2 plus 9. So in order to get the function of this, just remove the shift first. Remove the shift. So you have s over s squared plus 9. So this means cosine omega t. Omega is square root of, the, of this number. So square, of, uh, square root of 9 is equal to 3. Say omega 3t. Good. Get back to the shift. Shift minus 2. So it's going to be e exponential 2t. Okay. That is very easy. Okay. Get back the shift on its back. So that's how you solve these problems. Okay. In the next video, we're going to get some tricks in some examples and help you out more. See you in the next video.